This is a uh, pretty remarkable little device I found on eBay. It's uh, a buck converter. It's a DC to DC switch mode converter. Uh, if I light up the chip you can see it's an LM2596S and uh, what this is is just an implementation of the standard application straight off the data sheet you've got the uh, LM2596 uh, chip where is it here uh, you've got an inductor here 330 micro henry's presumably got uh, input capacitor 100 microfarads 50 volt output capacitor uh, 220 microfarads 35 volt there's a diode down there uh, looks like a shock key there it is looks like a shock key because it's got S on it assume it's a shock key and here's a 103 or 10k multi-turn potentiometer um, so it's not remarkable in its implementation. What's remarkable about it is the price. This was on eBay at one pound and three pence. And that's uh, that's not with additional postage, that's including postage. So this thing was sent to me all the way from China for one pound and three pence, including the jiffy bag, including paying my local postman to shove it through my letterbox including the uh, boat, or possibly plane, boat probably, it took a long time to get here, for one pound and three pence. It's just astonishing. I mean, I can't send something to my next door neighbour for much less than one pound and three pence. Um, so, a remarkable uh, thing. Anyway, I'm going to wire it up and uh, see if it works. So, here it is wired up. I've put uh, a digital voltmeter on the output and uh, two 9 volt batteries in series on the inputs, so that's 18 volts. And I've adjusted the potentiometer to give a 5 volt output. Now, because it's adjustable, yeah, let's see if I can do this. We can turn it and turn it down. Oh, and the LED voltmeter won't operate below about 4 volts, so let's turn it up. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, let's go for 10 volts just for fun. Uh, so there it is. Now I'm not sure what uh, the output ripple is like probably quite noisy but then that noise is uh, at a high frequency I think it's about 150 kilohertz so you wouldn't hear it but it could interfere with uh, sensitive analog electronics but I think for digital electronics this is probably uh, pretty reasonable uh, let's just see what happens if we drop the voltage the input voltage to 9 volts ah, okay well now there's not enough difference between the input and the output to maintain 10 volts obviously so let's try turning this back down I'll have to hold this thing still okay so I'm going to go back down to 5 volts or thereabouts let's try and get it bang on so that uh, that'll do 4.99 and then take the connector off 18 volt input and put it on 9 right so it's only dropped 10 millivolts or thereabouts between the 18 volt input and the 9 volt input so it seems quite uh, good at regulating so I think for uh, a pound a pound and three pence delivered to my door all the way from China, that's, uh, that's a pretty remarkable device.